Uh, I was involved in early work around retrofit. I mean, you know, housing, one quarter of our emissions uh, due to climate change, UK housing stock in a worse condition than anywhere else in Europe, except Estonia. So I expect Estonia to come knocking on our door, retrofit <coughs> works, to find out how they can do it very soon. Um, and I was doing work in, in, in Wales, and we were testing out with things, because the Welsh Assembly got very passionate uh, about climate change. Um, and they decided that they wanted to put through the door of every household uh, something called the ecological footprint, which is a very simple A4 poster that tells you how much resources Wales is taking that more than its fair share. You know, what it's contributing to climate change, what it's taking from across the world, all of that. And this was developed by a kind of Canadian uh, geographer. And so they had this message that actually, in order to keep Wales going, it needed to be taking resources something like seven or eight times the land mass of Wales in order to kind of, you know, kind of feed the energy habits in Wales. Energy was part of that, but food and transport and, and, and other things were there. Uh, but of course, um, what was interesting was to test whether actually putting this poster through the door worked in terms of getting people to act in a more sustainable way. And I remember sitting around the table uh, with a group of um, a quite hardened bunch uh, from Port Talbot. And when it was explained, this, this is what the ecological footprint was and this was what the poster said, one person turned around uh, and, and looked at the facilitator, it wasn't me, looked at the facilitator and said, OK, what about the fucking English? <laughs> And it's that sense, actually, that, you know, finger-wagging, pointing at people just doesn't work. And we've had years of that. We've had years of you can save £4.75 from uh, a £1, you know, low-energy light bulb or something like that. And it doesn't really get people emotionally. It doesn't quite work. And if you tell people too hard about climate change without the, the, the passion and inspiration you showed, Joe, just people put their hands over their ears and they don't want to know. So you have to make things simple. And that's what I like about retrofit works. And that's why I think it is revolutionary. That's why I think it is a model that will spread and deserves to spread right around uh, the country because it is making things simple. Remember, arsenic was a medicine for hundreds of years before we realized it was a poison. And it was a medicine because we had nothing else better. People had to do the work to create better simple medicines that you could just pop in your mouth. And that's what this is, is making a complex system into something uh, that is uh, simple. Now, cooperatives are businesses that are essentially partnerships models. And that's why this works, because the proceeds, the benefits are shared. It's a shared endeavor, a shared uh, enterprise. But it always takes commitment. So the 50 pounds, and you heard it from Russell, it's not going to be 50 pounds uh, kind of every year. It's going to be 50 pounds, which is a permission slip to enter into one of the most profitable new forms of business that London or other cities across the UK are, are going to see. Because there's a huge amount of work to do out there. So you have to actually, to become a member, not just sit back and wait for this to come. You have to get involved. You have to get engaged. And I hope that you can leave here tonight thinking, if there's business going to come your way, am I going to put up 50 quid to be a member in one or the other categories? Because that is what makes this work. Simplicity and momentum. Everything is right. The time is right for this. I think you're solving something that needs to be solved, but I think you're doing it in ways that will meet people's needs uh, in the area, and I think it'll spread more widely. So I wish you the best, the very best. I've tried to keep that as brief as possible. Uh, and I believe now you're going to say something about the bar, Russell. I have. I have. So thank you.